Hello once again, to everyone in the Porn WikiLeaks community, the Twitter community and to everyone else that has had the misfortune of dealing with me over the years, I am here to let you all know that I have officially given up on life and will use whatever time I have left before I kill myself to terrorize you people. There will be no boyfriend, husband or kids in my future. Two men ruined my life and left me so angry and full of hate that I am unable to focus on anything but trying to ruin lives. Those men? Ivan Leacock Mayers and Matthew Paul Holder. One is a fag that ruined his kids' lives by coming out while they were teens and the other, my former lover. And so now this is what is left of my life. Sitting here alone, drinking boxes of wine, and scouring Twitter accounts for anything that might get my adversaries suspended. The problem for me now is that a simple Google search of my name returns a horrifying resume of terrible acts and crimes that I have committed over the past four to five years. My past leaves me unable to obtain a job, unable to land a boyfriend and too embarrassed and scared to leave my home for fear that there is a bounty on my black ass. Additionally, I have begun to age and badly. My tits and ass are beginning to sag and the day that I start to look like my school teacher mother does not appear far off. Speaking of schools, I often think of combing college campuses for barely legal, hairless metrosexual boys to satisfy my urge for young white cock. I want my own Elliot Roger. Elliot couldn't get laid by so-called normal girls but how hard did he even try? He should have gone the pay for player out. An aging black girl like me can be had for $40 an hour. This bulletin board behind me is where I keep my list of victims and my hit list. Who will I stalk today? Which Twitter accounts will I attempt to get suspended this week? This is a highly organized operation. The only time I leave this desk is to go scarf down food. Usually steaks or lasagna which I then throw up while standing over the toilet. I then snort some coke and settle in with a box of wine and go all night. While everyone is out living, making money, getting laid, I am here wallowing in misery. Of course, I do show off on camera for lonely men for an hour here and there. I need the attention and compliments of horny old men to feed my fragile ego. And just for the record, I turn no private shows down regardless of race even though I am a racist. I will take the money of anyone, white, black or red, brown, blue or green. You will have to excuse me now. I have an incoming private show. I think I will fiddle myself on cam while saying Hail Marys and begging the customer to stroke his cock. Later.